Um, I've been here some four times altogether, I think. I first came in my very early days, just after graduate school for a conference. That's a long time ago, in the previous millennium. And I've been here three times more recently, this time and two more times before that. And some of it was for conferences and twice it was for a research project. Officially in pairs, but it was always three people. And the most recent times were three years ago or last year. Right. Uh, generally, it's been mostly here, research with three people. This year, time round, it was intended to be four, but the fourth person couldn't come at the last minute. Mm -hmm. Other research projects I've usually done with two people. That means myself plus two other authors. My first publications were alone, and then I started working with one other person, and since then it's been some with one other person, some with two more. And more recently, it's becoming three more at times. Um, one thing is that my collaborators have rarely been at the same institution. So it needs a place to meet. And sometimes they've come to my institution, sometimes the other way around. But especially once the collaborations involve more than myself and one other person. The obvious thing to look for is a place where all three can meet. What makes it important to meet in a place like this is that the environment is designed for collaboration. Um, and in addition, that it's a way for every one of the participants. If people come to my institution to work with me, that is a good thing, but usually I also have the distractions of my own work. And the same happens when I go to the institution of one of the collaborators. One of the people will likely be distracted. The other thing is here there are no worries about not just work, but when is lunch, where is lunch, when is dinner, where is dinner, how far is the library, what can I find in the library. Once one arrives here, there's only mathematics. There's just enough of a pleasant environment to also offer some diversion from just doing mathematics. But it is, it's been among my most productive times to in fact be in a place just like this, where everybody who comes, comes for one purpose and without distractions is able to pursue it together. <laughs> there are some mathematicians who work entirely alone and some of them do very good work. Um, for me, I found that um, in my career, in retrospect, I started with publications I made, did entirely on my own. Of course, the initial ones were still influenced much with, uh, by the interaction I had with my doctoral supervisor. And then I started collaborating, and what I've found looking at my own papers in retrospect is the ones I've written with others, the works I've conceived together with others rather than on my own, are much more interesting, much more varied. And it turned out to be very important for producing more interesting mathematics to really involve a range of people in creating the ideas, as well as a range of expertise in actually making them work. It's one thing to have an idea, it's another one to be able to implement the idea, and sometimes it becomes necessary to work with people who have technical tools at their disposal that I don't have, and vice versa. It's, uh, great pleasure to join in collaborations where other people have ideas and it turns out that skills I have turn out to be most relevant to making the project work. It's also important to have a place where mathematicians from all over the world can meet. And one thing that is special about mathematics more than I think literally any other discipline is that there actually is mathematics all over the world. In some fields, like the natural sciences, there is you know, a strong presence in many parts of the world, but they are expensive. And so, for instance, in the developing world, in emerging economies, there may not be as much because it's much harder to sustain. Then there are other disciplines that are as cheap as mathematics, humanities and the like, but for countries where there is, as an emerging 
emerging economies. Um, there is really an urgency in developing things where the utility is more readily apparent. It is more likely that strong mathematics has been built up. And so in particular, my field of research, dynamical systems, Brazil is a powerhouse. There's a strong presence in many parts of South America. Um, in my specific area, Uruguay is in fact a strong presence, as well as Brazil and adjacent countries. It certainly um, is spread throughout various parts of Asia, in addition to North America and Europe, which are the usual suspects for the expensive research in the natural sciences. And this makes it really important to keep interactions active. The most extreme example of a handicap from when it's not possible was during the Cold War, when much mathematics was developed independently in the West and the Soviet Union with little contact between the two. So at the very least, an institute where people can meet from all over the place does make sure that mathematical cultures don't develop independently and in isolation. But what SILM does is much more, because it's not just that people come here to share the results of their work, but that they come here to work together and develop the work together. And this puts different schools in contact at the stage where ideas are developed. And it produces much more interesting mathematics, much more rapidly than would otherwise be possible. There is no substitute for meeting in person. One can send emails once the work is almost done but it does not help nearly as much in the creative process. One can use Skype or something like it, and that helps when there's no way to travel, but it is a substitute and it's not the real thing. Uh, what is needed is a place where people can talk together, maybe then go to the library together, or, having thought about it for a while, take a walk outside and come back, and after a cup of coffee, then suddenly the ideas emerge and that cannot be simulated. It really has to be an in-person experience, an exchange of creative ideas, false starts, things that look good one day and don't work the next day, but at the end of the week, something has been worked out. In general, my research is in dynamical systems, and I continued in particular this week a collaboration that has been going on for a while that includes some new elements my discipline is dynamical systems, which outside of mathematics is often called chaos theory. But the, on one hand it is in pure mathematics, and on the other hand there are connections with ge geometry, geometrically motivated mathematics. And so in particular our project for this visit here was related to extending a result that um, Patrick Fulot and I established some time ago as an important step towards a rigidity result, which describes that if um, something behaves more regularly than is generally to be expected, then in fact it must be of a very special nature. And the result that Patrick Fulon and I proved was proved in a context where it was clear for which it was needed, and we did not care to prove it in any greater generality but it has since turned out in conversations with others to be interesting in itself enough to think about pushing it a little bit beyond the known context. And in that way also to connect it to some other works of others. Um, doing so would have indeed interesting consequences that we did not originally anticipate. And this is once again an example of an idea becoming bigger and more interesting by interactions with others who see its potential and can contribute to developing it. Um, it's an interesting question. I didn't work on any project right now that would directly lead to a book, but in fact here I've had some conversations and thoughts that have added to thoughts about books that are being planned already, that there may be useful additions to what's already being planned. And with others I've met here, in fact, some thoughts about possible book projects that might emerge down the road. Um, Given that my life doesn't take place at SILM exclusively and has other responsibilities, I make no predictions as to when any of these projects will materialize. But certainly, this has been a place that's given inspiration, 
not just to the projects at hand, but indeed, yes, beyond and to possibly bigger ones as well.